see. <gasps> That's purple! What am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> I don't know what I expected this to look like. <laughs> dip dye school supply. We have dip dye and we also have tie dye. So dip dye I think falls into the tie dye category so we'll just say tie dye. <laughs> so it's gonna be different kinds of dyeing on yes. pencil bags, that tote bags, and then the big one is the backpacks. Ah, backpacks. <laughs> so we have we do have this kind of canvas backpack mm -hmm. and then we have the chance for it, which it's a synthetic fiber, that's what it is. So we don't know how the synthetic fibers are going to hold up in the dyeing process. So we do have this canvas bag. I'm going to work with the bag. canvas one. So maybe I'll try the Jansport one. Kayla will do the canvas. Yes. And then that way we'll see what the difference is. Yes. For the dip dye, we found these bigger bottles of dye. So we've got yellow, orange, purple, pink, red and blue. I already know what colors I want to work with just by looking at them. I'm very excited. <laughs> cool, and then we put hot water. Yes. We actually put cold water in the pot, but then we didn't <laughs> it And I think it broke our oven. So we're moving out of here, it doesn't move, matter. <laughs> if we move quickly, I think this will be okay. We also got three buckets down here full of already boiled hot water, and we have the six colors. So we will put all those in the hot water, and then on top of that, we got the tie-dye party pack. That's over there. So, so that is going to be right here. Lots of colors. So we're gonna do the tie-dyeing where you tie them up with rubber bands, and we're gonna do the dip-dyeing with the buckets and the pots. I've already made a mess on my hands because I was trying to fill one of the bottles. So if that's bothering <laughs> you, that's why. <laughs> and that brings up a good point. We have the gloves and rubber bands yes. here. So the gloves, we have two different kinds. We have these ones. I like these ones. <laughs> the kind that came in the tie-dye package. Plenty of gloves. We should be able to stay somewhat clean, but we did put on grubby clothes. Sort of. Well, I really Kayla's like. Still looks cool. I like these sweatpants, but like I wear them to bed, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, so. They're dark colors. So what colors do we want to put in these pots? Okay, so mine's like a unicorn vibe, obviously. So I think I'm gonna go pink, blue, purple. Okay, so we'll put those up there and then we'll put the sunset colors, the red, orange, and yellow in the buckets down below. So this water is pretty hot. I would be very careful and make sure you, look at that steam. Whoa, that looks so cool. Make sure you do this with a parent because it's messy and it's hot. So that was red, this one's gonna be orange. Ooh, you're just gonna look so pretty. That looks so cool. Here's the yellow. Oh my gosh. That looks like paint. That's so satisfying to watch. Oh my gosh. Are you gonna stir it? Sure. Oh, we fixed it! <laughs> Alright, so right on. We'll just keep it warm. When does doing nothing actually work? Right now. <laughs> Alright, so these three gotta be poured in. Are you gonna do it? I guess so. You want me to I go? want mine to be you like go slow, because it'll spray. Okay. <gasps> Whoa. Yep. How much should I add if I want it to all be all of it? All of it, but I want it to be pastel. I'm gonna add a little less of that because that's like purple, so it's gonna be dark. Okay. I'll add the full of the pink and the blue. Okay, maybe not that much. Uh, the blue's, the blue's really dark, dark, so. Let's do yellow, orange, and red. Sorry. I'm so excited. Okay, so yellow, I'm scared. Oh my okay. Goodness. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I might steal your backpack. It's looking pretty nice. Some vinegar to these. It's gonna be stinky. Ooh. But it might help it to take. Ooh, that's gonna be stinky. Isn't that weird, like when you don't want something to be stained, it like stains it, but when you want something to be stained, it doesn't stain it. The math turn is the math turn? Yes. Is math turn? Okay, let's do this. I wonder if I should put anything in yours. Well, we'll try it first, because the canvas I think will take better. Okay. Oh shoot, I'm scared. It's too I'm fat. I'm scared for you too. It's yeah, you gotta fold it. Hold it in and dip it. Oh my let's see. Oh, <gasps> that's purple! Oh my gosh! Look how dark that is! That is a way better backpack. What? Oh my gosh, you're gonna have to be yeah. so quick about that. 
That's not ombre. <laughs> it's going from one extreme to the other. I've already set my plan up. It's, too it's late gonna be now. awesome. I love the color. It's super vibrant. It's too this late is now. Awesome. What am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> I'm gonna take mine and I'm gonna squish it in the middle into this bucket right here. This is orange. Be careful because this is hot water. So we'll yeah. let that soak. So we got orange going in the middle on this one. Well, how do you want to do that one? Like this, maybe? So Kayla's dipping the middle of her backpack. It's stuck. What color is that? Blue. Okay, so slowly. It's gonna probably start soaking in right here. It's really hot, guys, so we gotta be careful. There you go, so that's good. It looks very, really light because you didn't put a lot in there. Good. I put all the pink in there. Yeah, it's your fault. <laughs> this is your fault, Mom. <laughs> Oof. There's kind of a white that spot. Text, but that's okay because that's, that's gonna, gonna be purple. purple. But it's I love white. it. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so cool. As I realize she's being crazy. I need it to be perfect, Mom. <laughs> okay, here's the other one. There we go. Wowee. Mine's turning a very light orange. I like it. I'm dipping, I'm dipping, I'm dipping, I'm dipping, I'm dipping. It's making this one look more pink, which is good. Ooh, look at that, that's ombre. Yes. I think that looks awesome. So you're just gonna have to let that drip for a second and then we'll set it on a towel or plastic bag. All right, so there's yellow to orange and now it's time to dip this one in red. So we're gonna put that in there. Ooh. Okay, let that soak. So Kayla did this backpack. I think it looks amazing. You did really good. So let's move on I'm, to the next okay, one. Okay. What do you want to do this time? I think I want to do the tote bags because I feel like I use them a lot. Tie dye tote bag? Yes. Sounds so good. So I'm going to use the sport ones for this, I think, because I want to do like a rubber band thing where I do like a small circle and then get bigger and bigger. So here's the pencil pouch. I'm going to throw some rubber bands on that and some color and we'll see what happens. So this is what my bag looks like. It's like, oh, it looks like a helmet. Oh my gosh, like a medieval times helmet. I don't know what I expected this to look like. It does look like a helmet. It looks like a helmet when it's not on my head. But once it's on my head, it's like, what the heck is that? <laughs> so these are the colors that I picked. Got like a light green, a pink, and a teal. Okay, so we're starting. This one's kind of purple, and uh, that one's more pink, but I mean, the blues are pretty close. That's, that's cool. Mm, she's struggling, but it's all right. <laughs> it's art, okay? <laughs> We're just gonna let this dry. <laughs> that's the pencil pouch, tote bag, sunset backpack over there, and beautiful, vibrant unicorn backpack over here. Okay, so we're gonna let everything set. We're gonna wash it in the washing machine and then let them dry and we'll show you the final outcome. We are back. Day two. <laughs> yes. 
So it gave the backpacks and the other items time to set and be dried. Yes, and, and I'm, I'm sick now, so that's how you know it's real. It's day two, because I got sick. So if Poor I sound Kayla. different, that's what, that was, that's what happened. She got a little cold. <laughs> this is a Kayla's unicorn backpack. Mm -hmm. and I think yours turned out it's pretty, Honestly, I think it's pretty faded, but it's called pastel. Mom. Yeah, it's really light. I will take yours if you don't want it, because honestly, I think yours turned out. I don't want to like say better or worse, but like I think yours looks gorgeous. Well, I did do the yellow at the top, orange mm -hmm. in the middle, and then red at the bottom. It almost looks pinky now, though, because it's it all is. pastel. Yes, and then unfortunately, I forgot to take out the straps. So I did dye this one. Knowing now about that part, I think I think that the rest turned out pretty decent. So I'm Yeah, mine, with... okay, so mine was supposed to be ombre, but there's kind of like a harsh line instead of the ombre. So mm -hmm. that's like the only thing that I'm not loving I think the about colors it. Look the colors really look good. The colors look nice, but I was hoping for an ombre and the line is not helping. So everything else is pretty good though. This is canvas, so it took really well. So this is best if you have a white backpack and you want to make it like bright pink or bright blue. Ta -da. Ta -da. So comment below if you would have worn this backpack because I think it looks really cute and I probably will wear it. That was the dip dye. Okay, so next we have tie dye. Should we do tote bags? Sure. Okay, so your tote bag is tie, I mean dip dyed still. So. I did, I dip dyed it again, but I did it with canvas this time because I wanted to see how vibrant the colors would turn out. Yeah, so the canvas doesn't really ombre very well but if you're going for like a different kind of look, you can totally pull it off with the canvas bags. They're much more vibrant. This is how mine turned out. So I did tie dye. I like put rubber bands across and like did that way. The other side is a little different. <laughs> it's okay though. So it's this side, cute. this side is pink, how it was supposed to be, and the blue mixed in with the pink on the side, so it's a little purpley. And then I've got like green and yellow mixed on the outside. The so yellow like, is really vibrant. I like the yellow. It. So. Did well. I'm really happy with this side of my tote bag. <laughs> we will totally use these for grocery shopping. Yes, we're saving the planet, okay? I did the tie dye for the pencil bag. Yes. I think it looks awesome. It turned honestly. out really well. Again, this didn't take any time to set. It was almost pretty much immediate. It's so vibrant with the canvas. And the back has some white still, which I really like about it. It's mm -hmm. kind of Splotchy, yes. but then this side's like the, the tie dye that you would see on a t shirt, which yeah. is really cool. So, I really like this pencil pouch, I think it turned out pretty good. Before I show it, when I first made it, it looked darker, so I was gonna make it galaxy, but once we washed it, it lightened a bit, so now it looks unicorn like everything else I own. So, it's still really cute. I like it. Mom said it almost has like a denim vibe to it because of the little patches of blue. Yes. So, I like it right now, but I think I'm gonna try and find a way to make it darker again so that I can add little stars and make it galaxy. Because when it was first like sprayed, it looked like all like the sky mm -hmm. and the galaxy and stuff. I was really excited, but this is still awesome and I love it and it's super duper pretty. And useful. Yes, and this was super easy. All I did was grab the extra bottles and just spray it. That's all I did, and then we washed it, and this is what came out. So if you want a quick, easy way to have rainbow pencil bags, then just go to Michael's and you're set. <laughs> yeah, I think all this stuff was at Michael's. Yeah, all the canvas stuff was at Michael's, and that's the stuff that was the most vibrant, and you can get the tie-dye kits at Michael's. So, yes. yes, and then this is a box of Rit, but you can also get the liquid like we got and the bottles and it's it looks like that it says rit so that's what you can use for the dip dye it's just basically like a bigger amount of dye and we found these at walmart with your parents permission of because, course because yeah that's <laughs> don't just go dip dyeing everything in your house that, oh my you be so much trouble <laughs> I think my favorite item that I made is the tote bag because I, we use tote bags all the time. So I really wanted this to look good and I think it turned out really well. We're totally gonna be using that. Yes. It's very useful. I think I like my pencil pouch just because I like the rainbow. It's, it's really, like really vibrant. It's really vibrant, yeah. I so. like your backpack. The really. Jan Sport. It was Love very it. difficult to dye. I, I left it in there a really long time and it still took forever to take. I even added vinegar to stain it more and mm. it still barely made a difference. So. I think you were expecting it to be vibrant like your pencil pouch, but I like the pastel more. That's what I was going for with my backpack. So I think we kind of switched 
by accident. <laughs> <Switched our> plan. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below which item was your favorite. Yeah. I what think... would you like to dye? If you could yes. dip dye something or tie dye something, what would you do? Yeah. Would it be a shirt or something like this? Yes, so comment down below. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Also, don't forget to subscribe down below. It's super easy and it's free. And you get notified when we make videos. So yes, don't absolutely. forget Please. to subscribe. Do it. <laughs> Until next time. Bye. Bye.